In this video, we're going to be unboxing, building, and reviewing the 2023 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Get a good look at the box art here first. As you'll see right here, it has a 501st Specialist, two 501st Heavy Troopers, sorry, a 501st Officer, two Heavy Troopers, and a 501st Specialist with a brand new macro binoculars piece. On the side, it has the 20th anniversary of that old Clone Wars show, and which is really cool. I think that's really cool that Leia is doing that. On the back side, there is just another view, and you can it displays the play functions of the cannon. And as for like bag wise, we have the bag full of the visors and the antennas, which sometimes it can be annoying since there's so many in there. But I think it's fine. And you got our two bags and then mini instruction manual with the really strange looking print on the instructions. There we go. So this came with four minifigures, 199 pieces, and it retailed for $20. It's actually a pretty good deal because of the three exclusive minifigures. Let's check out those right now. First minifig we have is the 501st Officer. It uses the two holes in the side of the head, so it doesn't look that all accurate. And and as some people have pointed out, it's kind of, kind of got a lot of space between the helmet and the lines. But I think it looks pretty good. And another criticism that it has is that the waist cape is printed on instead of it being like a f actual physical waist cape has come in the past. So it doesn't look as accurate but I think it still looks pretty good. Another minifig we get in is, in this set is the 501st Heavy Trooper. We actually get two of these, so really good if you wanna build your army of 501st Heavy Troopers. It also uses the dual, um, dual sided, sorry, uh, double holes, but it actually looks, actually makes use of both of them. Uh, it, it uses the Commander Cody top part from the ATTE, and the bottom part is you, is just the regular 501st stripe. It also comes with this nice little printed tile for a backpack, as a little p a, a little one by one printed tile as a backpack. The third minifig that comes in the set is a 501st sniper, sorry, 501st specialist. It has a brand new piece just created specifically for this set so far is it's uh, macro binoculars um see it has uh it goes over the eyes and and yeah it also has a the uh blue arms and two 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 stripes on on its um <clears throat> torso and it also just comes with the standard long blaster with the little candlestick piece at the end but yeah, I really like this new p mold for the um, for the macro binoculars. This maybe could indicating we could maybe get like a Commander Bly or something in the future. Let's check out the build. So the build is a, I believe it's an ARV-7 cannon. And one interesting choice that they made is instead of um, putting it in the blue 501st color, they just used the red. Now, I'm fine with the red, but I feel like the blue would have gone better with the blue clone troopers. And, but otherwise, it's a really, really nice looking build. The cannon can move, and in the let, and there's a little uh, blue clear thing at the bottom. Now, I remember in the past, there was a rumor that this would have, was uh, gonna be a spider droid as the, build for it but i guess i guess not so what's the final verdict on the lego set i think this is a great lego set to buy like maybe one or two of just for your clone army certainly not as many as we as we did for the that old the old 501st battle pack but for any clone army builder that wants a big army definitely this is be definitely maybe buy one or two I'm only purchasing one since I only have like three or four five of first battle packs just to keep the ratio even. And since, I mean, I don't need 20 f snipers and 40 heavy troopers. So, and 
20 uh, officers. So I think this is the only one that I'm going to be buying. I really like the build. I really like the f figs. And so I'll give it um, seven, seven and a half out of ten, just because some of the, because this is just some, just it, it's very fragile. Like boom, just falls off like that, and and the, just the misaligned prints and stuff.